Hi everyone, welcome back to Beach Angel Tarot. I am here to do an SP messages reading. Happy Halloween to everyone. This is Halloween evening and I thought it was a good time to tap into the connection of your SP at this time. Um, I might also do a Vampire Lovers after this. I'm not quite sure. I haven't done one uh, Vampire Lovers episode for a while. I think it would be episode 10. So we're going to see what the energy feels like when I complete this reading. And I may be posting one of those soon as well, like this evening or tomorrow morning. So we'll see. Um, that being said, if you'd like your own personal private specific messages, more specific to yourself, you can follow the description information below um, and purchase this reading um, through that through the, um, through the description box below. So uh, once again, happy Halloween to everyone. I hope everyone is doing well and we are going to pull some Halloween oracles. Let's look at the major arcana. This is a self-created deck um, I purchased through Etsy. I'm not quite sure the name of it, but we're gonna see what major arcana energy is around the connection at this time. Focusing on um, SP's energies as a collective for this reading, and angels, Archangel Michael, to reflect our time and space. As always, what major energy is around the connection? And we have, oh gosh, I love that, and the lovers. And it's a choice, right? It's always about a decision and a choice. So that is, that's something to keep in mind in regards to this. Um, and the number six. And I see a little spider web up there over the cats. The cats, you know, can be all independent, but these are like two very independent people, I feel like. So you and your specific other may, um, and undercurrent is Empress. And you and your specific person may both be very independent in your own right, very sovereign beings, right? And I'm not dependent on other people for the, for the most part. So that could be playing um, a role in the connection, but that lover's energy there is good to see. And as, long, as well as along with, along with the Empress and the undercurrent. So um, yeah, we're gonna see what comes up. Let's see what the Stacy DeMarco's Halloween Oracle has for messages for the collective. And we have, oh, there it is. Oh, I like that. Skull of flowers creating through the ashes. So if anything has, you know, kind of crumbled or burned up or what have you, there's a sense of transformative energy and creating a new, like starting fresh um, kind of energy for the connection. want to see what spirit of darkness and light may be working with the connection at this time and then we're going to dive into messages focusing on what spirit of darkness and light if we get a darker spirit that is something that spirit is working to clear that darker energy out um, and then we have a fall and we have the spirit of scales karma justice and balance which is interesting what the lovers you know there's that six that is a you know balanced energy three and three um and we have the two cats, so there is that sense of balance within the numbers. So there is, um, spirit is working out any karma that could be between you and the connection and um, bringing, you know, justice and balance, more fairness, if you will, into um, the energy. So let's see what your... I'm going to use this deck because I think I used it last time and I really like how it came out with the messages. So I'm going to continue with this deck uh, for this reading right now. If you purchase your own reading, I will use this deck unless you request me to use a regular tarot or a different oracle or something. I have hundreds of decks. So if you have one in mind, I just may have it. Um, so what is your SP thinking in regards to the connection and you at this time? So what is your SP thinking in regards to the connection? And I feel it's this one. And it's fearless love. And it says, a courageous leap into the unknown. So, it's interesting. 
she's wearing yellow and the flower's yellow and there's a yellow here and there's some yellow in here. So a lot of solar, I'm getting a lot of solar chakra energy um, with this. So that's like self-confidence. And to me, the solar chakra and that confidence brings up an energy of like the magician for me, like, you know, because the magician commands, right? And he has all the willpower. And so that comes from the sender and from, you know, the solar plexus there. So I feel a strengthening in that manifestation ability and um, in that empowerment and that self-confidence as well. So I feel a sense of confidence rising, um, just sort of like creating through the ashes, if you will. Um, now, when I see the word creating, I would normally want to go towards the sacral chakra for creation. And there is some orange in this as well, in, this, in these colors. Um, but I, I really was drawn into the yellow, so I didn't really mention the sacral chakra because I feel the solar chakra is more prevalent in the connection right now. Um, but, you know, what this person is thinking, they're thinking more like the fool's energy. Like, you know, thinking about like a, being confident enough to kind of move forward without knowing, you know, without having any um, way of knowing like how it's going to work out or, you know, kind of releasing fears of the unknown. Um, so there's a building of confidence, I feel, coming um, in this person's way of thinking in regards to the connection in you. So they're building their confidence to move forward uh, in an area where it may be uncharted territory. They're, they're not quite sure uh, what to expect. And they're um, feeling more confident in regards to it. How your SP is viewing you. How your SP is viewing you at this time. So this Halloween, how is your SP viewing you? Oh, like, I like it when it falls out and it's life partner. So it says your romance is stable and ready to go the distance. So that stability energy, that confidence, right? Even in the face of the unknown is um, showing again in this card. So it's matching, right? The energies is matching here. Uh, they're viewing you as a, their life partner. Um, and that's, they may be viewing you as stable um, or ready to go the distance, um, but they are viewing you as life partner material. And again, it's interesting, she's wearing yellow. So there is a big sense of that solar chakra and that confidence coming up here uh, as well. So they're viewing you as long-term potential, um, even in the face of uncertainty, right? How they think you are thinking about them. you're thinking about them we have burning desire so it says flames of passion ignite so they think you think they're hot you know you may have told them that you may have made it quite clear that you're you know physically attracted to them that you have the hots with them so they kind of know this that there is a definite uh, physical attraction to them they think you're thinking this um, that when you're near them, that, you know, that gets ignited within you and that um, they're pretty certain that you think this about them. So they think you're thinking about the physical connection, the passion, the energy that arises between the two of you or when you're near them. So they kind of know you think you're hot. <laughs> what this person is feeling for you. So if there's no way this person would know that, like if it's somebody you um, haven't connected with or something, this may not be the energy or the reading for you because this is definitely somebody that you have made it quite clear that you are equally interested in them and that they um, are, you know, sexy to you or you're very passionate about them. So what does this, what this person is feeling for you? Number four. Workplace romance. And it says common cause connection. So it's not necessarily they're feeling that you're a workplace connection because not everyone's working to, in the same place, right? So what the, in, in regards to feelings, I feel like they feel that you um, 
you know, come together on the same page. They're feeling for you that there is a common ground here, um, that you're equally as interested, and that, you know, with the workplace romance, I feel like there's, um, you know, they're feeling like they want to put the work in. They want to put the effort in for you. So there is that, and it's been showing through the... Um, the reading so there's a common cause connection it's like they feel you're on the same page there's a commonality there's a familiarity that they feel with you and that there's an effort that they're willing to um, put forth for the connection if this person could have one wish about you in this connection what would it be Love language affirmations, and it says, lovingly, loving words hold great power. Sorry, I couldn't see it. Loving words hold great power. And again, she's wearing yellow. This is pretty interesting. Um, so if they could have one wish, they would like to express their love language um, and speak loving words, you know, powerful loving words to you. They'd like to have a loving conversation. Loving words hold great power. They'd like to affirm their love for you. There's some sort of conversation that they'd like to share with you. I'm going to pull one more there as well. If this person could have one wish about you and this connection, what would it be? I feel like something else wants to come out. forgiveness so for some this could be a separate message um, allow healing waters to wash away the pain of the past so they would like to clear the slate they would like to clear things up you know it's talking about water so this could be emotional emotional um, energies that they would like you know they would like forgiveness or they want to clear the air they want to clear up the emotional um, static perhaps in the connection if there's anything going on there the healing waters to wash away the pain of the past so any anything like that or if there is some unconscious or subconscious um, connection to past life energies they'd like to clear that out and that goes along with this karma right um, the justice and the balance it's kind of going hand in hand with that that they would like that and that spirit is helping with this too and helping rebuild and to make that choice to go ahead and move forward with the um, the connection, even though there's like an, an uncertainty here with that first card's message. So what is next in this connection? What will they do? What will happen next? So what will this person do next in regards to the connection? And that is too many. I'm not taking them. What is next in this connection? What will they do? What will happen next? healing connection it's kind of going along with the wish right the wish is to forgive and to um, speak loving words and let the past go and be able to speak from their heart with conviction and so what they're actually going to do is um, in, in alignment with that right and it says your romance will transform your life so they want to heal the connection because they know that this relationship is healing for them and then it's transformative right um so i feel like that decision is being made here with this lover's card to to take that chance um, and act on that type of full energy this gives me the full cards kind of vibe um, in connection in the connection and it's um a courageous leap into the unknown and it's repeated itself with all the yellow and then the action step of being the healing connection um coming up there so Hopefully everyone has enjoyed that. I'm going to pull a couple Rainbow Rain messages and see what comes up. And we have, oh, that's nice. Happy communication coming. And I'm just going to leave it at that because I love the dolphin's energy. I love the blue for the throat chakra. And I'm going to see what, um, 
the lover's oracle. I'm gonna pull another one from this heart deck that I got. And see what else comes up. this way I guess so this that's a little slippery so let's see what other message wants to come from oh that one flipped out there and this one says twin flames your passion ignites that is a um oh I think one of these oh it's the burning desire passion ignites very similar to that card there um You know, twin flames is a, a term that's, you know, used a lot. Not everyone is a twin flame. We are looking at specific person, but there's definitely a strong connection here and a willingness to move beyond fears and uncertainty and to move forward in a healing in a healing way, you know. So that's a good positive. So what other message wants to come from this deck? And we have this, and it says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean, which is, you know, I really like this one because, of course, of my connection to Yamaya and the ocean. And not only that, we have the dolphin. Um, and I feel like this speaks for itself, right? I don't feel like we need any more um, other than that. And then, then this kind of just, um, you know, confirms this message and connection again to the water and the ocean. Um, very beautiful messages of love. Um, SP. So, like I said, if you'd like your own personal one more specific to yourself and your SP, follow the information below in the description box. And all readings are um, five to seven days delivered if you purchase uh, through that information below. And any purchase that you make is non refundable. Once you make the purchase um, in that way, I cannot refund you or, you know, won't be wouldn't be able to refund you so I just want to put that in there and I am going to put that in the um, description box below as well um, but Etsy shop is different um, this way is another matter so um, everyone thank you for um, liking sharing and subscribing to my channel and for tuning in and I will see you soon I probably am going to go ahead and do the vampire lovers I like the energy that I'm feeling um, and so I'm probably going to tap into that and see how that goes so I may be posting that this evening or tomorrow um, if you don't see it it will be coming soon that means i got interrupted and i wasn't able to do it this evening um, but it probably will be coming up soon angel blessings to everyone oceans of love